Greetings, esteemed action figure collectors and appreciators of posable plastic. It's your brother King Ape back again with another action figure and vehicle discussion. And today we will be taking a look at Hasbro's G.I. Joe classified vamp vehicle with driver clutch. Now, I know that there are a ton of videos out there showcasing this beautiful vehicle that Lenny and, and the team created for us. And I just wanted to kind of take a different approach. I've already, as you can see, assembled the vehicle and there's Clutch kind of went over, look, took a look at all of his accessories and everything. So what I wanted to do real quick today is just go ahead and do some comparisons with other vehicles in the line and some other vehicles outside the line. So I just figured that that would be something you guys would enjoy and appreciate. And before we get into all that, though, I would like to give a special shout out to everyone who has become a subscriber of the channel, who has become official members of Ape Nation. I truly appreciate all of you guys, and I, and I want you to know that. And I also appreciate the other people who stop by and check out my vids. I'm a small channel, I'm just getting started, and I know it takes time to build that traction and to build that following. So I'm hope hopefully, as I put out more content, more, you know, discussions on action figures and accessories, play sets, vehicles, and everything in between, you guys will become subscribers. And you know, we can go on this action figure <laughs> journey together. So let's get into it. The first vehicle that I want to bring into the frame for a comparison is Scrap Iron's drone, which is kind of, it's kind of a slash vehicle. If you, if you really think about it, I mean, it, it's unmanned, but it, it moves. So uh, I don't know what Clutch thinks about it, but of course he's sitting back there with his beverage, just, just taking it all in. But this is what I wanted to show you guys, the side-by-side -side comparison. And then I will also show you a front view as well. So you guys can get a look at that and get an idea of the scale and you know, just for displaying options, displaying purposes, you have an idea. Now, I also wanted to do this. I wanted to measure it. So I wanted to measure the vamp. So the vamp is coming in at about 13 inches lengthwise. Height-wise, if I go to the rear tire, up to the top part where the crossbar is here, we're looking at about six and a quarter inches and we'll go to the front fender. So fender to fender, we're looking at just under six and a half inches, just for reference for you guys. Also, you know, that can give you an idea of space. I always measure out my space. Uh, I'm putting my collector room together as we speak and uh, and it'll probably be a couple of more months, but then I'll be able to showcase you guys, show that to you guys and let you see what that looks like and how I have everything displayed. But also while I'm doing this, I want you guys, you know, to chime in and let me know in the comments if you picked up the, the vamp. Uh, I see that it had sold out maybe a couple of weeks ago and... I was actually surprised. I thought that there would be plenty <laughs> to go around, but that wasn't the, the case. I suspect that there will be another wave, another production run of this vehicle because so far since I've had it, I, I messed, I've only messed around with it today, actually. It, it's very nice. Uh, it has some, has some weight to it. It has a lot of callbacks to the original vamp, which I had as a kid. Uh, Clutch is a really cool figure. He comes with a, a good little loadout, so to speak. 
and you know aesthetically it's pleasing and from the functional standpoint it's pleasing so far i you know i i like it uh there's still the issue with some of the the accessories being a little gummy but i don't want to get too far off topic here's the trouble bubble the flight pod cobra trouble bubble with televiper and lenny this is i know you probably will never watch this video but I'm speaking to you and Emily and the rest of the team. Please give us flight stands for our Trouble Bubble flight pods so that we can pose them different ways. I happen to have more than one. So I think that would be that would make for awesome display if you could have all the Trouble Bubbles on flight stands and you can pose them different ways. Just, you know raining down a hell of laser and missiles up on the G.I. Joe team. So, oh, I'm sorry. This is how that look. That's, this is how they look from the front. So I'm going to give you guys a side view and a front view. So that's how they look as far as size comparisons. And moving right along, next up, we're going to do good old breaker with the Ram Cycle, which was a Target exclusive, I believe. So that's that's how those look side by side. I think those go together pretty well. The greens match up pretty well. Uh, there's a little bit of, well, that's more of a, yeah, there is some black in there. There's some black in there. Uh, of course, there's some black on the vamp. So I think these would make for a good a good setup piece on the on your shelf. Even like that right there looks good side by side. So you guys can get a look and see how they look side by side. That's how they look. I think that would be a good display. The green on the vamp I think is a little bit lighter under this light as I look at it. But I think it I think they I think they they have they both have curb appeal <laughs> if you wanted to display them like that. If you could imagine clutching the driver's seat and you, you got some troops on foot and somebody hanging off the side, that will work out really well. Okay, next up we have the Baroness on the coil cycle. So that's how they look with my custom Baroness, which I will be showing her in another video in the not too distant future. Uh, but anyway, you guys let me know in the comments what you think about the vamp. For those that picked it up, do you like it? Do you think it fits in well with the rest of the classi classified line? Do you think that what's, what other vehicles would you like to see get made into classified form G.I. Joe. I personally personally would like to see them do the Mark II version of this, which is the tan version. I would like to see them do the Stinger, of course. I would like to see them do the Snowcat, the, I think it's the, what's the one from Cobra? The Snow Vehicle, Snow Wolf. That would be a nice one. Uh, you guys let me know which ones you would like to see. All right, next up, we got the big baddie himself, Sir Pensor, on his air chariot. So that's how they look side by side here. Oops. The clutch was kind of in the way. So let me let me move that over so I can get them both in frame. So that's how those look. Uh, the air chariot has some has some size to it, you know. Uh, this, like I said, this video was just it's just the whole purpose of it is to just have different vehicles, so you guys can get a have a baseline of how they look next to the vamp. This uh, the air chariot, you know. Of course, it has the landing gear down, 
but it's it's actually pretty tall. It's pretty massive. And it's it's just as wide as the vamp as you can see. Huh, interesting. But I think so far the the team has done a very good job with the vehicle selection and the execution of said vehicles, especially given the fact that this is uh, 112 scale. So there are a lot of vehicles we know realistically aren't going to make it into production because cost and just shelf space, <laughs> you know, it would just be ridiculous. And so last but not least, out of the G.I. Joe classified realm, we have we have Miss. Oh, let me fix my camera here, guys. Hold on. We have Miss Fiona. <laughs> so I figured I would throw her in so you guys could get a look at how they scale together. And Fiona has some, she's, she has some length to her. She has some length. Let's see, let's put her out right here. I'm gonna put her nose right at the end here of this tire. And if you look, I mean, you still, you've got a good inch, half inch past that rear tire. So she, she's, she has some length, but that's how she scales with the vamp. <laughs> just, just in case anybody wanted to know, that's how she looks. Okay. Now. Of course, we have we have we have more. I have more. The next one I want to show you guys is from Mattel, and that would be the Lightyear, the vehicle from the animated film Lightyear. So I, I know you guys are familiar with this vehicle. I can't remember the exact name of it, but. I picked this up off of Amazon. I think it's, man, I think it's like seven bucks now. But it's ideal for a smaller figure. You can get a smaller, more so like a female figure. I was thinking I would put a female Joe in there, like Shooter in the background, or Scarlet, or Agent Helix. And I, I actually have two, so I'm probably going to paint the other one and make it a Cobra vehicle for the Cobra female officers. You can't get the uh, male figures in there. It isn't going to work. I tried it. So, But those are options. I'm just trying to give you guys ideas. That's how it looks. That's how they look width-wise. The vamp has it, has it beat <laughs> all day. But this is a cool little... Just a cool little vehicle. I mean, even if you don't use it for G.I. Joe Classify, you can you probably use it for another another line. Uh, maybe Legends. Maybe there's some figures small enough that you can fit in there. So uh, SH Figure Arts, you know, they have figures. Dragon Ball Z, I believe, is one of the lines I think of, comes to mind, that you could probably fit in there. Okay, moving right along. We have, I forgot about this one. I have the new Ray Ski Mobile. Our Snowmobile. Is it Snowmobile? I believe it's Snowmobile. You guys, let me know in the comments. You guys who've, who've been on one and know about them. One thing that's cool about this is that the tread moves. I thought that was really cool. Uh, nice little detail. Uh, I saw a guy on YouTube who, who picked these up and repainted them, and he had a G.I. Joe classified snow job on one. So I grabbed a few. They're on Amazon. I'm probably going to paint them as well and probably use them for snow serpents. Maybe give one. Maybe give one to, to snow job. We'll see. Uh, next up. Oh, did I show it from the front? That's how it looks from the front. All right. I got a mad reach. It does have die cast on it for anybody that was wondering. 
Next up, we have the Sky Sled from Marvel Legends that came with Hawkeye. I don't have the Hawkeye figure. I just wanted the Sky Sled so I could repurpose it into the G.I. Joe classified <laughs> universe. Uh, but that's how it looks, how they look, you know, as far as size comparison. That's how it look, how they look from the front. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Clutch definitely thinks so. He approves. Clutch is one cool customer, I tell you. Uh, I think Lenny said he's got the rockabilly look. All right, next up, have another new Ray vehicle, which is a house. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this in the frame really good. I'll do the best I can. I probably have to move clutch. Let me move clutch for the moment <laughs> and bring this in. This is also from New Ray. This is one of their Chevy Silverado trucks. Uh, four by four, you know, with the lift kit and all of that. It's got Dreadnought Buzzer sitting in there driving. Uh, cool little vehicle. Uh, see? Doors open. You can get... You can get definitely get a a G.I. Joe classified figure in there or a Legends figure in there only in the front on the back it's kind of blocked of course you know you wouldn't have anywhere to put their feet but you could probably sit them sideways you could you could do something with it fin uh, finagle it but that I wanted to just show you guys how those look side by side and from the front that's how they look uh, I think the vamp is a little bit wider when you look across the hoods, but the tires on this stick out so far that makes it look wider, you know, but that's how those look. Okay. I have the camouflage version of it as well, but I'm not going to break that out. Next up, we have from the, from Marvel Legends, the... Proton Cannon that came with that retro uh, Iron Man, Tony Stark, which is based on the Marvel vs. Capcom video game. So I was I was going to use that. I am going to use it for a display for uh, Cobra. You know, they're always Dr. Mindbender and Destro. It was going to be Mars Destro. You know, he's always inventing some type of weaponry that's how those look side by side okay from the front all right we're moving right along okay and then getting into larger territory <clears throat> we have the Fortnite victory from the victory royale series we have the Fortnite boat <laughs> which a lot of people have used to make uh, G.I. Joe, make it make it like a G.I. Joe boat. Some people have repainted it to make it a uh, Copperhead's boat. I, I do hope Lenny and them are, are going to give us uh, a water moccasin. We definitely, definitely, definitely need a water moccasin. And I believe it's doable because it, it probably, they could probably make it this big and make it a general release. You know, it, it isn't something that I don't believe would have to be crowdfunded. But here, I'll just try to get them both in the frame. Let's get, let's put the vamp up there. Cause it's kind of hard. <laughs> this is, this is such a long boat, man. But just so you guys can get an idea and I got to reach. Hopefully you guys can see that. They're both about the same width. I mean, nah, I think the, the Fortnite boat probably is a little bit wider. But there you guys have an idea of how those look side by side. And last but not least, 
We got the hoss of all hosses, the boss of all bosses, the G.I. Joe classified, the HasLab G.I. Joe classified his tank. Ugh. So there's the his tank. I can't get it all in. The frame, let me pull back a little bit on the camera. It's just difficult because the reach I have to make. But I really want you guys to get a look at this. This is really cool. This is going to be a great setup for, for somebody. I, I know for me, one, once I get my, my collector room together, that's going to be awesome. Uh, side by side, you guys. Uh, let me... Turn this gun turret so I can bring it a little bit closer. The vamp. I just wanted you guys to be able to see how that looks. Let me turn it this way. So many ideas, so many options, you guys. Play for playability and for display and, you know, I turned the lights on by mistake. to cycle through all of it but that's how they look man that, that his tank is a house man <laughs> so i got that from rob from comics explained he always says that when it's you know a big character so yeah that's your your side by side front view comparison of those two vehicles Ah, it looks good. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, when people start posting pics and stuff of those on display. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, give me just a second here. Let's get everything back in order. So we can wrap this up. Clutch with his nice beverage in hand. And that concludes vehicle comparisons and everything in between. I really got I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh you know, leave me a comment of of what kind of displaying ideas you're having uh you know of course you have the suspension so you can man there's so many different things that, that we can do with with the vehicles that they have provided that's why i wanted to do this video i kind of wanted to do something different that kind of st stood out on its own because like i said there's so many people putting up uh videos of of you know doing reviews of the vamp and clutch so uh, i hope this is you know has been fun informative you know i hope that it sparked some ideas for you guys to create and display uh the next video i will be doing is i'm going to have